You just got your new treasure, like this one, and you don't know where to start? This video is for you. What's up guys, I'm Zay. In this video, I will show you how to do the first setup of your Trezor Model 1. Firstly, go to the Trezor official website. Select I already own Trezor and download the desktop app. Please remember that you should always buy from the official Trezor website. This is so important for your safety and the safety of your funds. So, download the desktop app and install it on your computer. Okay, then launch the app on your computer and it says connect your Trezor. Connect the Trezor to your PC And you will see that it's booting. So I already used this device. So it says that the firmware is already installed on this device. And uh, in your case, when you first connect your Trezor to your PC, it will install the firmware on the Trezor. Do this operation only from official resources like the Trezor suite downloaded from the Trezor website. After the installation of the firmware, it takes about five minutes. Let's start with the setup of your Trezor. So click on Setup Trezor. So the device is ready and let's click to continue. Let's click on create new wallet. Now the wallet will give us the 24 words that compose the seed to back up our wallet. Let's confirm on the Trezor. So you can see that it is asking a confirmation. Our wallet is almost ready. Um, now we have to create the backup. The backup is the only way to recover a lost wallet. In the next video, I will show you how to recover a lost wallet. And these pieces of information are important. Do not take a photo or a digital copy of the backup. Keep your backup secure and never share it to anyone. And you can check your backup in the device settings before sending money to the wallet. Everything online can be hacked, so you should create an hardware backup of your seed, like the paper cardboard that were present in the box. So here you can write all the words of the seed. Let's check all the boxes and begin backup. This is asking us to confirm on the Trezor, so you can see that on the Trezor it started to show a word. This is the first word of our seed. So let's write down these words. So after we saved all the 24 words of the seed, it asks a confirmation. And then we can check all the words we wrote down on our hardware backup. Okay, let's confirm that we checked our seed. Okay, and you can see on the Trezor suite that the wallet backup has been completed. One important thing is that as it says here, do not lose your backup or your funds could be inaccessible. There is no way to recover a lost backup. No way. So if you lose your hardware backup of the seed, there is no way to recover your funds. This is important and be aware of that and keep care of your hardware backup. So let's continue to pin. Here the Trezor suite is asking if we want to protect our Trezor with a pin. So let's set a pin and it asks the confirmation on the treasure. Let's confirm. So we can see that the numbers are displayed on the treasure and uh, every time it refreshes the screen, 
the position of the number changes. And on the screen you can see that we have these dots and each dot cor corresponds to the number located on the uh, Trezor screen. So let's set up a pin that in this case I can uh, say it's one, two, three, four, I'd say. So one, uh, two, three, four. Enter. And then we have to confirm the pin and you can see that the number location is changed. One, two, three, four. Okay, pin set. You should write it down and keep it safe as it says here. Let's continue. The last step of this setup is to activate coins. So if you want to store on your wallet, let's say Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, for example, Litecoin, Ethereum includes all the ERC20 tokens and let's say, for example, Dash. Okay, so our setup is complete. We can change the name in example day. And it asks the confirmation on the Trezor. So let's confirm. And then we can change on screen. For example, I like Einstein. And so confirm. And I have my scientist on my Trezor. This is so cool. <laughs> so access suite to continue. And here you have your, uh, let's click to standard wallet. And here you have your uh, dashboard. So at the moment, this is the first setup. So I have zero dollars uh, and my wallet is ready to use. This is the end for this video. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and give me a like. See you in the next video, in which I will show you how to recover a lost wallet. Peace.